Pablo Gunner, recap and review, Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 5. This one's called The Return. And no, it's not The Return of Mace Windu. And no, I'm not insinuating that I am Mace Windu or I'm as powerful as Mace Windu. This one's actually my daughter, Shelby's, because she loves purple. She's really good at controlling both sides of the force. It's called The Return. We don't know why it's called The Return. It could be The Return of Omega. It could be The Return of Crosshair. It could be The Return of Hope. Probably not that. Or it could be them returning to the ice planet that is not Hoth that Crosshair was at in the previous season. There's a lot of tension between Hunter and Crosshair because yeah, they had a falling out, it was bad, and they're both not really good at communicating. And honestly, I've come to really appreciate Hunter because it's hard being a leader. And it's really hard being a leader of people that don't like following orders. They're all trying to get information. They're going to this outpost so they can find information to find out where these clones are. Omega says, we need to go back and get all those clones and all the test subjects at that base where we were at. Nothing is ever easy. Yeah, there's always a giant monster involved if you remembered that ice planet, if you remember the stuff that happened. If you don't, that's fine. You don't have to. You can just roll right in. But it's probably more exciting at the same time because you don't know what's about to come or what might be coming which is, yeah, this crazy ice monster that almost kills them all while they're trying to find these facts. And of course, Crosshair eventually opens up to Hunter and tells him, hey, I killed an Imperial officer. I now understand why you guys were on the side you were on. It just took me longer to figure it out. So now we're on the same page. Now we're on the same side. Really great, awesome, touching moments, intense, loved it, fantastic beautiful episode. Excuse me if I like the new Star Wars because I like Clone Wars. And I didn't originally, I actually hated it at first, but I love the Bad Batch. I've come so close to them and it really is great. Like I know it's slow at times, a lot of times, but that's called character growth. That's called character building. It takes time. You can't rush it, okay? And you can't call me a fake fan just because I like Disney Star Wars, okay? F off. I am a real fan because guess what? Look, look right there. I have the actual VHS of the original trilogy, okay? But guess what? I also have comics from the new stuff. I, I've read comics of the old stuff. That's old. That's legacy of the four stuff. Like there's so much of this stuff old and new. I just love it all. So excuse me if I'm creeping up on 40 and I'd rather enjoy the life that I have left, the time that I have left. And I mean that literally and figuratively because I got three kids. I don't have a lot of free time on my hands. I wanna enjoy that time. And I really don't know how long I'm gonna live. I could have 30 more years in me. I could die tomorrow. So excuse me if I'd rather enjoy the things that I check out. Do you enjoy them? Don't watch them and stew food. Move on. Go enjoy your life instead of complaining about what other people like and love. Let them enjoy stuff. If it isn't clear enough, this is a strong must see for me. Talk nerdy to me. Come enjoy some of these sweet threads at tntmtheshow.com where this Star Wars merch is on sale with free shipping, as well as X-Men, Fallout, Star Trek, and Sonic, because of course Knuckles is coming out near the end of the month. And remember, 5% of any profit that we make on our merch will be going to our charity of the month, which is Autism Speaks for the month of April. So help us, help them, or just donate directly on our Instagram. Talk nerdy to me and may the force be with you.